We've been following breaking news all morning long. A very busy night for firefighters across the region working in these bitter cold temperatures. There were at least a half dozen calls across the area overnight, including a fatal fire in Westmoreland County. Megan Schiller has been live in Salem Township all morning long. She joins us once again. Megan. Good morning. Firefighters are still here on scene on Fennel Street. This fire broke out a little bit after one this morning, and amazingly, it is still on fire, still smoking, especially at the top right side of the roof. We saw the flames there on that roof just minutes ago. They are trying to get the department back out here in order to try to continue to extinguish these hot spots. We are told that one person has died in this fire, a young man that didn't make it out alive in time. We're also told that there were several other people that were inside this duplex. There's one person that lives on the left side, and then there were three people that lived on the right side, including the victim. Now, everyone else other than that victim did make it out okay. We talked with one family member of the victim who said that it was his parents that were on the right side of the home. One of his parents, he said, was taken to the hospital and the other person was all right. He said it was his younger brother who fell victim in the fire here and couldn't get out in time. Now, we did have the chance to talk with the fire chief about the conditions out here and what exactly it was like having to try to fight this fire all through the night. Here's what he had to say. We're in the process right now of bringing some equipment in. The house has to be torn down uh, due to the fact that we can't get in and extinguish all the hot spots in the fire due to the weather and the icy conditions. So crews are going to continue to be out here for the remainder of the morning. They have been laying gravel down on the, the area in front of the home because right now it is a complete sheet of ice. They're also calling to make sure that the water department comes out to turn off the water to the house. We do know that they have cut all the electricity to the home. There were wires that were frozen laying on the ground whenever we first showed up. The coroner's office also was here on scene. They have yet to release the names of the victim as well as the family members involved. But we'll, of course, pass that along to you as soon as family members are notified. We're going to continue to stay out here and continue to get updates from firefighters as they continue to put out these hot spots that keep popping up. But for now, we're reporting live in Westmoreland County this morning. Megan Schiller, KDKA TV Morning News.